Hello everyone. This is a quick tutorial about how to use the IBM ESSO product. Not meant to be completely detailed, but just to get you started. The first thing we have to do is to log in on the TAM ESSO login screen. And you'll know that you logged in successfully when down at the bottom it says ICM ESSO agent, and it's got a red circle with a lock in it. The first app that I'm going to show you, or the first thing I'm going to show you, is the auto learn feature, which will auto learn your username and password for websites. In this case, I'm logging into my Gmail account. I go ahead and it will prompt me to save my password. I'll say yes. It'll continue logging me into the application. Not too impressive yet. But now if I log back out, it'll automatically log me back into the web application, again, in this case, Gmail, and let me go about my business without having me having to remember the password or log myself in. The other example I'm going to show you is using the remote desktop client. Again, type in my connection information. It can be to anything. It doesn't have to be a Walcott specific thing. It'll remember my username and password that I'm connecting with. And it'll go ahead when I say yes and save that information. So again, the next time I go to log in, I won't have to do anything except pick the server that I want to connect to, make sure the authentication stuff's right, and say yes and connect. The last thing that I want to show you today is the wallet. The wallet is where it keeps all of your information. So if we go over here to the little up arrow, click on it, right click on that circle with a lock in it, and choose Manage Wallet, you'll see there's my Google Accounts login, and then my Windows system here at home that I have set up to be logged into. All of these other accounts, my Big Fix account, my CAC SQL account, those are all stored in there also. We'll be creating some other videos shortly, so keep your eye out. And as we add new things, we'll let you know.